Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. Good morning. It is December 5th, 2015, Saturday morning. It is 9.24 a.m. here in Central Wyoming. It is 31 degrees right now. Real field temperature is 22. And our high will be 37 and our low will be 23. Um, and... I've been up oh, about half hour or so, you know, I had to do my uh, blood glucose reading, which was 123 this morning, which is good. And I had to uh, uh, do my injection and take my other meds, you know, kind of take care of some critters, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and... Uh, I said, come on here and yak it. You guys, you know, like my hat? Isn't it nice? Yeah. There's another Dollar Tree special, people. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what's funny? If I wear a hat or I wear a scarf or something, it's almost like a security blanket, and it makes me able to deal with um, my social anxiety better basically going out of the house and stuff, which this time of year you usually do end up going out of the house more. And yeah, so, uh, yep. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but it's like, you know, you figure people are going to look at you, or at least they're looking at something you're wearing, you know. You know, like yesterday I wore that uh, red and green uh, scarf to my grandson's school and got you know, a lot of people complimenting, so... Stuff. But any hoodles. Um, what did I do last night? After I got home from uh, my grandson's um, uh, assembly, and it was really cute. It was based on Australia and all the animals and and people and stuff. And it was it was really cute. He was really into it. He was really thrilled I was there. And then I gave him a ride home after school. Because, I mean, literally... It was five minutes from my school ending, and rather than his mom have to leave work and go get him and take him home, I thought, you know, I'm out and about, you know, and I had told her the night before, you know, one, I'll just give him a ride home. They all gave him a ride home, and then I came home. Um, I thought about going and doing a little bit of shopping, you know, Christmas shopping and stuff, but, um, I was getting pretty sore. Um, I've been doing a lot more walking, but I ended up walking a block to my grandson's school and a block back to the vehicle because, um, you know, all the, all the handicap places were taken. Of course, you know, I have a handicap placard. Um, and, uh, all the nearby places were taken. So I just took my time. I figured I needed the exercise and I had my cane anyway. And I did fine. I did fine breathing wise too. Um, uh, but I was kind of a little tired and sore, you know, from doing that. And, uh, because I've been, you know, uh, working on walking more. And, I mean, last year I could hard, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Last year I could hardly even walk from a handicapped place to the front door of a store. And now, like the other day when I went to, um, uh, Hancock Fabric to get some buttons and, and price their yarn. I end up walking all the way through the store, you know, so, you know, that, that was good, that was good, um, you know, I'm happy with that, I don't care if I have to use a cane, cane gives me a little bit more stability and stuff, so, um, you know, that's fine with me, um, you know, and of course I still use a cart if I have to, but, um, you know. It's really hard to reach a lot of stuff if you're right if you're using a motorized cart. Now, don't get me wrong. Thank goodness for motorized carts. Or a lot of us would not be able to go anywhere, or for wheelchairs. But you know, it's really hard to reach some stuff. So, uh, if I can, I like to walk it, and I figure that it gives me exercise. So, um, you know, I have to say I priced out the yarn at Hancock Fabrics, and it was it was just asinine. The prices were just, wow, way too high. So, um, 
And then I didn't need to make dinner because um, we had leftover chicken from the night before. So I just um, um, made a noodle mix and um, cooked up some uh, uh, broccoli and cauliflower. And that's what we had. And then uh, I did dishes. Picked up a little bit. Um, and then, I, you know, I've been working on orders. I've, I picked up some more orders lately. I picked up uh, four orders in the last couple of days, you know, for uh, some crochet stuff, some, some incense, um, you know, which is nice. I mean, like I said, that gives me the ability to be able to turn around and use that to buy more yarn and stuff. So, you know. I enjoy that. So, um, I'm going to show you guys. This is how this scarf for my grandson is turning out. So, you know, I think he'll really like it. He lives in Texas, so it doesn't need to be super heavy. But I, I think he'll really like it. And then I'll make a matching hat, of course. Um, uh, in fact, I had to make a list last night of the orders because I couldn't. Normally, I can just kind of keep them in my head who wants what. But this time, I was like, oh, you know, my head's getting kebobbled. So, I had to write down uh, who was ordering what so I can I uh, can get that stuff out. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Um, I said, I didn't step real late. I did go ahead and take an Ambien last night because I hadn't been sleeping the last couple nights. I did not feel good last night. I had a headache all day, and it turned into a migraine by about 7 o'clock. And probably all the, they were doing all instruments and bird calls and stuff probably at school probably didn't help. Um, but uh, it's such a migraine. I ended up going to bed pretty early. Uh and today I, I just need to uh, need to do some housework and um, uh, I'm already dressed for the day and uh, then get to work on orders. Um, what else? I want to do some shopping. I want to do some shopping on Miss A. I've never ordered from there, but I really would like to order some stuff. So I'm gonna see if that would be okay. Um, I'm sure it would be. Um, uh, and what else? That's about it. That is about it. I just, like I said, not a whole lot going on. Um, uh, you know, I've got another, I've got a couple more scarves still for orders to make and some incense orders to put together and stuff so um, all that kind of good stuff um, that's all I'm kind of oh I know what I can talk to you guys about is um, finally realized the other day that I feel really comfortable with who I am now and I think that's a wonderful thing as you as you get older and stuff that you you come to a point where you feel comfortable with the way you are. Um, I'd rather have somebody tell me they think I'm cute than you know you know try to strive for being called some beauty or something. I mean, you know, I mean accepting yourself at the age you are. I mean. Aging gracefully, I guess. Um, not, uh, you know, being depressed that you're no longer a young woman. That you're no longer going to have men looking at you. And quite frankly, I gotta be honest, I don't want and never have been comfortable with men looking at me and, and thinking, I'd tap that. I was like, uh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I'm not anybody's thing. Um, but uh, being comfortable with 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 um, being viewed as, as the grandmotherly figure, 
for a lot of, of people. Um, a lot of the people when like when I go to these school functions and stuff are um, the uh, adult children, the you know the children that are now adults that my my kids used to play with. So you know they view me as like a grandmother, you know, uh, to their children and stuff. And you know they're like, oh hi Mrs. Heidi, and I remember you when I was a little girl, and you always you know were baking cookies and always you know had time to talk and you know always were so nice and that I love that I love that that's exactly what I want to be remembered as you know as just a nice person um but I realized it's like you know I'm finally I'm comfortable with my gray hair I'm I, I'm comfortable with the way I am you know so, to me, that's a wonderful feeling, to being, to being comfortable in your own skin, to speak. And I think particularly a lot of us women fight that. I know I did a lot when I was younger. Like, you're always trying to strive to become this image that society gives you of what a 20 year old should look like or a 30 year old should look like you know and you know all of that so it's just kind of a nice feeling nice feeling you know so wanting to bake some cookies today I probably will bake some reduced sugar uh, chocolate chip or well, chocolate chip caramel cookies um those are kind of I might 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 make some uh oatmeal scotch Scotch cookies. I think we have some butterscotch cookies my husband picked up. Might make some of those for him. He really likes those. Um, you know. And, uh, so yeah, at some point in time I'm gonna. I usually try to bake something once a week. So, I'll do that. Saturday seems to be my day. I'll do that kind of stuff. So, um, and like I said, just some housework and then cracking on the orders. So, hope everybody has a great day. What do you got planned? Have you gone and looked at the lights? I'm hoping we get to go look at the lights here pretty soon. Maybe, um, uh, I'm hoping maybe tonight or something. You know, maybe my husband will want to, um, uh, go look at lights. I'm either making homemade pizza or I'm making tacos tonight. I'm not sure which. You know, I'm waiting to see what my husband has for lunch because they, they at the at uh, they feed them on Saturday. And they feed them lunch. A lot of times they order in pizza. So if he has pizza, he's not gonna want pizza again tonight. So that's all I got going on. But if you guys got your Christmas shopping done? I got pretty much. I got to pick up some stuff for my husband, and I got to pick up a few gift packs. And the rest are just gift cards, so I'm pretty, you know, I'll finish it up next week when he gets paid. We really scaled back uh, this year because of, of the economy and stuff, so, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to go do some fun stuff like that. Uh, you know, last year, because we thought we were going to move and stuff sooner, we didn't buy any gifts for ourselves at all. Uh, you know, and not about the gift giving, but it did kind of stink that there wasn't even one gift under the tree, nothing, you know. So, shortly after Christmas, my husband said, you know, that just didn't feel right. And he said, let's go, uh, you know, pick up a few things. So we did. But, um, uh, yeah, we're not quite done yet. Uh, like I said, I got get gift cards for the grandkids. Might pick up uh, inexpensive little gift packs for them. And uh, I need to pick up a couple gift packs for friends I want to send out. And um, some gift cards. Duh. I got two more scarves to make some more, so for gifts. And then I've got some scarves to make for orders and, and stuff. So... Yeah, and I want to make one more. I'm not sure if I'm making one more 
shawl or not to give away. Uh, we'll see. And I want to make myself a shawl like poncho type. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to make myself a, a, a shawl poncho type. You know, a very loose, thin weave. Uh, and stuff. So, but anyway, that's all I got going on. I hope you guys are having a terrific Saturday. Um, probably decorating trees if you haven't already. And all that fun kind of stuff. So, tis the season. So, love you guys. And I think you're awesome. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.